everybody and welcome back to horse horse pre-prod that is we are on the test server today to look at the new trophies update we have a new trophies page and the collections page is going to get an update as well uh, this is a really big update partly because the trophies have been part of the game for so long They've gone through a couple of iterations or upgrades. This is not the original trophies that we had when the game started out. We didn't have trophies when we started, I don't believe. And also, this is really important to me because for the last year in particular, I have been really focused on trying to complete these customization ace trophies, companions, any, any trophy I can complete. I know that it's possible for me to do. I've been really working on those. So this is a really big update for me. And I really wanted to talk about this because this has caused a bit of confusion, understandably so, because half of the update is not up yet. The collections page, when I say collections page, if you go to achievements, collections, it's this page here. So where the cards is, this is going to be updated. Some of the trophies, like the Customization Ace trophies or Golden Apple Coat trophies, those will be moved to this page, not to the new trophies page. So you're not technically losing that as a trophy, if that makes sense. We don't yet know what that will look like, obviously, because as you can see, it's, it's not up yet. Let's get started. The trophy and collections system is entirely reworked. It was unfair to players and unlike many other games, trophies could be won and then lost if you do not have the required horses anymore. We wanted to change the system by reworking the trophy system, making it more rewarding and adding a collection system. Well, first off, I'll just start my tangent right here. It's on topic, so that doesn't count. I don't agree that it was an unfair system. Uh, it says right up at the top that you do lose your trophies if you don't keep the horse. And as long as that's stated up front, I think that's fair. Challenging, yes. Unfair, no. Now, also, I don't really agree with the trophies could be won and then lost in many other games. I, I guess yes, but no. Flight Rising, their, I'm trying to think what their trophy equivalent is, their bestiary, I guess, which is the system that keeps track of the pet pets, the companions, companions that you own. Originally, you did lose that little trophy icon for it if you sold your pet. But then they added a new system where you would keep your trophy if even if you sold it. But they actually added a separate trophy because a lot of players found it was unfair that, you know, hey, I go through a lot of effort to keep this instead of just selling this pet for a profit. I choose to keep it so I can keep the trophy. They added a secondary trophy. So you have one trophy just for owning it. Even if you sold it, you still have that one. And then there's another trophy if you also keep it. And then with Lyodin, their system, they don't really have trophies. They have more of an achievement system. And kind of my first thought on this new trophies page, these are more like achievements to me because this is exactly what Lyodin is like in terms of, I mean, I, I guess these trophies are also achievements here too, but just the way this is formatted, it seems more like an achievement because you have all these progress bars and it just reminds me of the objectives that we do for all of the other events. So that's, that's my thought on, on that, on whether or not it's unfair. Trophies. You will now obtain trophies by completing specific objectives. See? Objectives. Obtain trophies remain forever. There are four rarities for the trophies. Bronze, silver, gold, and diamond. Each trophy gained will grant some points that fill a reward gauge. When the gauge is filled, the player obtains a gift and the gauge is reset. The gifts can be precious black market items, Horn of Plenty, Philosopher's Stone, also divine horses, Tarpan, we have no divine horse named Tarman, Cactus, and even a Xanthos, depending on the progression. On the new trophy, trophy page, players have access to the following information. You have number of trophies by rarity, last trophies obtained, next trophies, progression, number of points granted by each rarity of trophies, list of all trophies available, listed by categories. What happens to previous trophies? This is the really big, the big part here. Most trophies have been transferred to the new system. For example, competition, seniority, equestrian center. Those have been transferred. You can validate them now to get all the related gifts. These are retroactive. That's why you see that I already have a lot 
of trophies in progress. I have not, I've only touched two of these just to see how it works. The rest of them are retroactive. Those were transferred over. However, some trophies have been moved to the collections page, the horse breed, special horses, golden apple coats, retired coats. They have been moved to the collections page. They are not on the trophies page, the new trophies page. The customization trophies, which would be, for example, this one here, obtain X amount of golden apples, have been reset because I definitely have more than five golden apples. On the trophies page, those have been reset. On the collections page, they should be fully transferred over as they as they are. Why some why they chose to reset some make some retroactive, I have absolutely no idea. I don't know. <laughs> it's just it's just the way that it the way that it works. You will have to add the item golden apple companion to a horse again for the trophies. Items applied already do not count for the customized horses you already own and those trophies have not been transferred. New trophies. New trophies have been added to the existing ones, mainly in the divine category where you have to play with them, not only own them. Zonkey, musketeers, metals, grail, dragons, fairy tales. For example, the grail horse. The, the first task I have is to complete a quest with the grail horse. You have to own it. We will also progressively introduce trophies related to the events. Great challenge. Collect horseshoes. Lottery. Collect clovers. Speaking of golden horseshoes, golden horseshoes have been removed from the game and replaced with trophies related to the events. That lucky prize draw to win the divine at the end of the event, it's still there, but the condition to enter it is just to having finished the event tutorial. Now let's get to the collections, which is the really big deal for all of us actual collectors, like coat collectors out there, because really like entering competitions, your EC rosettes, those aren't technically collections, really. The old collection page was reworked and revamped as well. Not yet. We don't see that yet. That's why it's still blank. This is blank right now. We don't know what it looks like. The system now tracks all elements that can be collected in the game. Horse breeds, basic coats, vintage coats, special coats, companions, special horses, backgrounds from the Aus Helios Ray cards of cards event. I'm glad. I don't want those to go away. They still have to update some of the more recent ones. Those are not in there. I will also ask to be sure because I don't want to assume anything, but I don't see that regular landscapes are mentioned. It just mentions Aus Helios Ray. I would assume that regular landscapes will be included in this, but I don't want to do that. I want to bring that up now just so we can make sure that will be included. You will be able to easily see which elements you have already collected and which are missing. From missing elements, you can access the direct horses sales or the product page of this element. This I like. Currently with the trophy system, you can click on it and then click the gavel icon. It'll take you right to the it already have the sales pages filtered for you, but it does not give you a link to the item. For example, I just joined the game. What on earth is a wanderer spirit, a prank wanderer spirit? It sounds like there will also be a link that will take you to the item page, which is great. You don't have to try digging through the black market and just click on that link there. From obtained elements, you can access your breeding farm. The first horse with this element is displayed. Sounds like just one horse will be shown. And then the other ones you'll have to just search through for yourself, I guess. You can see your progression globally by categories, by subcategories. The old collections displayed on the My Other Collections page will not be displayed anymore. That is referring to, I'm not going to click on this because every time I do, it takes forever to load. It's the, I'm going to call them the objective, the event objective milestones. I think the hike would be the best example because you usually had to you know, gain cards or something for that, or maybe the memory event where you had to turn over certain cards. That's what that's referring to. This tab will be gone, but the my cards will still be there. Or there might not be a my cards tab, but we're still going to be able to see our previous cards. They will be transferred to this uh, collections page. Unlike for trophies, you will lose your progress in a collection if you don't own a needed horse anymore. So the collections page still acts like the regular trophies page. My thoughts on this, kind of more now that we've covered all of that, I, I first, I do think it would have been better if they had waited to do this test, test session until we could actually see the collections page, uh, just because I think it's, it's causing a lot of worry and confusion, understandably so, because many players have spent so many years and so much equus and passes trying to collect all these. 
And also, I just want to visually see what it looks like, because if it looks anything like this new trophies page, I'm sorry, even if they're transferred over, I won't like it because I don't like I don't like this. I don't like how, and I mentioned this before in other videos where I've talked about updates, I don't like this new aesthetic that the game has been slowly transitioning towards over the last few years. It looks like the mobile version. And to me, the mobile version reminds me of Twitter. And I don't like Twitter. So it's just everything's so large, which is good. You can see it. That That's fine. But on the negative, you have to scroll to see everything now. And for this page, obviously, you'd have to do that because of the amount of trophies. But this gets me into my next issue. Where are all of the easy to identify icons? Where is a UFO icon? Where's a rosette icon? The Grand Prix, the fountain, show me the fountain. In this little trophy that actually looks more like a medal, this should be called medals, not trophies. <laughs> That's just nitpicking. Show me a golden apple icon in this medal. When I go through the current old trophies page, I just like this so much. Okay, take your screenshots if you wanna make sure that, you know, just in case this does totally change completely, take your screenshots so you know what they look like. I can scroll through here and even without the text, um, the text titles, the text descriptions, which I really like. They're very informative. I don't think this new page is that informative. I can look and easily see, if you get rid of those, oh, hey, that's a rosette with the horse. It's probably referring to me winning rosettes with my own horses rather than, say, the rosettes for the EC Center because it shows a rosette with a box. They're very easy to identify. Magic hat coat. Oh, okay. Golden apple coat. Hey, there's a golden apple icon. Why couldn't they put icons on this page? Show me a companion for this. Also, I do think, okay, so I guess you have these, you know, shows a bronze trophy, which is like what's up here. This just doesn't really mean much to me saying all these numbers. I have five diamond trophies, 11 gold trophies, 20 silvers, 46 bronzes. Okay, well, they could still, they do sort of have that on the current trophies page, though, don't they? Sort of, ish. <laughs> they could do it. Look, for the vintage apple, it has just a single little plate, and then it's like gold looking, even though I have seven trophies. Let's just say, turn that bronze, make it a single tier for my first bronze trophy for the golden apple or whatever. And then when I get to silver, give me two tiers and turn that plate silver. I think they could do that. I, I just don't know if they'll update that. That would be one other update that would take time to do, but I would be happy if they would do that because right now this just doesn't mean much to me. I have to scroll through all of this and then actually read everything. I can't just quickly scroll through and then stop when I see those special coats like I see here. I can just, I can just totally, whenever I come to this page, I can just, boom, I'm here, scroll down. Oh, I see Wanderer Spirits. There we go. That's where I'm at. Whereas with this page, you can't do that. That I do not like. What I do like is that, yes, some of these trophies were retroactive. Pretty much all of these that you see, except for the Golden Apple and the Companions, those are the only two that I've touched on pre so far, just to see if those worked. So the com competitions, that was retroactive. I've already had those. Again, though, I don't really understand <laughs> why some are retroactive and others aren't. I mean... On one hand, it's quite nice because I can log in and immediately click to get my gifts when this update goes live, of course. But then for the other ones, I have to go through and obtain those. So that's kind of weird. Speaking of gifts, I already collected them. I think I went through probably like two iterations because I, I won two divines. I won a tar pan, which I do already own, and I won a tiny falabella. I have a couple falabellas. I don't know if I have tiny yet. And what I will do for that, I did record that. So I'll either just put that video clip after this, I'm done talking right here, or else probably what would make more sense is that it can just run while I'm already explaining that little bit to you. So you should be possibly seeing that on your screen right now. I do like the rest of the gifts, couple Cronus's timers, Aphrodite's tears. It really made no sense to me when I was clicking through getting the gifts in terms of where am I at with my progress? Just because when I first logged in, it started out at 100 over 100 and it never reset until I was finished. And I couldn't really, I guess, track where I was at with my progress for that. I just kept clicking it and opening it. 
And it kind of seemed like the gifts just repeated themselves after you won that divine, because I think I just won the same items like a second time. It, I don't know. I, I appreciate the rewards. They're nice. They're not something that I felt was, I felt like I needed. I felt like the, the trophy is enough, but it is pretty cool that we get rewards. Um, the gifts were nice. I noticed there were no golden apple prizes. Those have been in short supply lately. I'm, I'm really happy that I spent time getting divines that will give me golden apples, harmony packs, or the ability to get those items, such as Themis scale divines, because we don't win those very much anymore. Uh, what else can I talk about here? Oh, this little drop down, this just lets you filter these. So if you just want to see these customization trophies, or if you want to see those divine trophies down at the bottom, you don't have to scroll all the way down. Go to special horses and here are those divine trophies. That's all that does, just filters filters them out. So you will have to own these divine horses, of course, in order to actually complete the trophies for it. It's a good, good way to encourage uh, players to get these, but... You know, we've had, we have a Yggdrasil trophy already for this system, and I still have no desire to get Yggdrasil. 12 trophies I'm missing out on, but it is what it is. I, I don't think there's any other information to talk about there. Uh, I guess, I guess my biggest, my biggest point here is that we're just going to have to wait to see what this collections page will look like. I, I really do hope that it looks like this because I have been, spending a lot of time. I spent a lot of Equus trying to collect these. And then when I finally collect these, I don't want it to just be looking like this, a little metal with some text and then this progress bar. I am so looking forward to seeing these checked off as they are, like with the icons. <laughs> it seems so silly, but when you've been playing for so long and you've been spending a lot of time doing this, you know, and then all of a sudden it changes when you're midway through it. And it's kind of, ah, uh, it's, a, it's a bit frustrating when that happens. And I really do like this trophies page. And I don't really like this achievement trophy page. It just looks weird, but I do like the gifts are fine. I'm not, you know, those are fine. I don't think they're needed, but they're fine. You know, can't really complain about the gifts that way. If anybody has any questions on the trophies, the collections page, please do let me know. If I don't know, hopefully somebody else in the comments will be able to answer that question for you. I will try to do an update video as soon as I can whenever this collections page is updated, just so we can actually see it and everything. But otherwise, please do let me know what you think about the updated trophies page, the rewards, the divines. Supposedly, we're supposed to be able to maybe get a Xanthos and a Cactos as well at some point. <laughs> yes, we'll have, to, we'll have to see on that. I'm 70 to 100 now, and some of these will be pretty easy for me to knock out. So I could actually do some more testing on this if I needed to. Anyway, let me know what you all think. Thank you all so much for joining me today, and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.